words are powerful. By the words that you say, you can either speak life or death. You can create life or promote death. So it's very important that you watch what you say. And especially if you're talking about yourself, if you say things like, I'm nothing, I'm no good, I don't want to be alive anymore, I'm not meant to be here, I'm unworthy of love, I'm ugly, I'm a mess. If you keep saying that stuff, then that is the stuff that becomes real in your life. Even the Bible says, as a man thinks, so is he. And it's saying, whether you're a man or a woman, however you think, and if you keep on thinking that way, that's what becomes real in your life. So on the flip side, if you're like, you know what? I'm loved by God. I'm chosen by God. I'm made in his image. You know what? He made me beautiful. You know what? He made me handsome. Oh, I'm all right. I'm, oh, hey, hey, pop my shirt. You know what? That changes your whole demeanor because you're speaking life to yourself. You can create atmospheres. You can create feelings. You can create emotions based on what you say. So be careful what you say. Even me, I got to get on myself because sometimes I can get, I can get in kind of a complainy, it's not even a word, complainy, type of space where I'm just like, going, oh man, why is this that way? Oh, why is this that way? And and when I do that and I think about the negative and I'm complaining about stuff that I don't think is right, it I'm speaking death. And it doesn't even matter what's going on with somebody else. I'm the one being affected because I'm speaking this versus, you know what? I don't have any control over this. It's in God's hands. God knows what, God has it all under control. Two different perspectives. So watch the words that you say. You are made in God's image, and He loves you, and He created you. But since we live in this fallen world, we do deal with an atmosphere of sin. Yes, Jesus saved us. He paid the price for our sins and all of that. But since we live in a fallen world, and we got sinfulness in this flesh here, then we have to work a little harder to do the right thing. Because when you come into this world, doing the wrong thing is easy. That's just default. You know, ain't nobody got to teach you how to lie or steal or do wrong. Comes naturally because of sin. But with God's help and with the help of his Holy Spirit, then we can make better decisions and we can speak better. We can speak positivity. We can speak life because all goodness comes from God. I know people will say that, no, I'm just good. I'm just a morally good person. Any kind of good that we can do comes from God. He's the foundation of goodness. He created it. He is the source of life. It was him in the beginning in Genesis when he said, let there be light. And when he said it, it just went and it just became. And he separated the light from the darkness. And he said, light, your name is day. Darkness, your name is night. He created a separation between light and darkness. God spoke and things happen. So let's use our power of speech for good and not for evil. Speak life, not death. I don't have any kind of special, like, you know, people have some kind of, like, cool thing that they do, like gesture, like, speak life. I don't have one, so. <laughs> I don't have one, but that's it. Speak life. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.